Virtually every concert in last year's series was a sellout. Uh, the only complaint was that we didn't have enough concerts to go around. Well, this year, I'm glad to announce that we're nearly doubling the number of concerts which we're going to hold, and we're also adding to the number of seats. We're going to have 1,500 additional seats available, so that over 220,000 people of all ages and creeds and races and economic levels are going to be able to share and enjoy uh, this celebration. It is a fact, of course, that the celebration is not only good in itself, but that it has also been good for our parks. The incidence of crime diminished drastically last summer, and we think that these concerts are one of the important factors in this fact. In spite of the crowds every night, there was almost uh, no wrongdoing and almost no unpleasant incident. And so we like to feel that the park, as well as Rheingold, must be doing something that, that's right. Sato, you're more used to playing posh nightclub engagements than Central Park. How's it going to feel? Well, I've played in a lot of parks before, but not as big as Central Park, you know what I mean? But I've played parks before. Are you looking forward to this engagement? Because yes, uh, uh, we used to have a lot of fun up to the Lewisham Stadium, you know, and that's outdoors, you know. You know, they have good mics. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. You think you'll be heard over the uh, the sounds of the birds and the squirrels running around? That's all right. <laughs> Let them sing with us. I don't care. <laughs> Ms. Collins, you're a one-year veteran to this supply here. Uh, what do you feel about it? Well, I feel like I was in on the first level of a really fantastic thing, which is now just growing to uh, include the best people in the world, and it's most exciting. Well, do you think that this is really in the uh, scheme of the folk idiom to be playing to crowds like this? Oh, I think it's, I think without it, you, you miss the whole point of communication. I don't think there's any, there's any need to put labels on what people do anyway. I think if they communicate and make music and, you know, make people happy and make a, a thing happen between them and the people, then that's all they have to do. And it's a perfect situation to do it here in the park. It's really great. The sound is good. Yeah. So good. How was your reception last year? Did you feel that the crowd really appreciated you? I feel that they appreciated me even more, I think, than they would in a normal nightclub or concert situation because they came especially, they made an effort, they walked from the subway or from wherever, and, and they bundled their kids up and brought them and everything, and they really came just to listen, and they were so responsive. Listening to what she had to say, do you feel uh, encouraged now? Yeah, very much. I just, I'm waiting to see that, you know, and I can understand what she's saying about the, the whole situation. It's got to be a swell affair, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Bobby.